वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज ट्यूटोरियल नंबर थ्री ऑन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ लुक एट द फिगर गिवन हियर हियर यू विल सी देयर इज अ प्रैक्टिकल करंट सोर्स थ्री एम्पलीयर अलोंग विथ इज रेजिस्टेंस टू किलो ओम is connected with this op amp circuit and in this circuit the source is neither connected to full inverting terminal or this non inverting terminal because it is connected in between now we will try to solve this problem to find out this output voltage v not now to solve Often problems we generally use following two concept at least. The first one is virtually connected concept. If open circuit is ideal and its voltage gain is infinite, and if circuit is having one negative feedback, means from output inverting terminal is connected through one resistance, then output voltage is becoming finite and in that case this non inverting terminal potential v plus should be same as inverting terminal potential v minus so as if they are connected together they are sorted so this concept is called virtually connected so we will be using this concept to solve of m problems and the second one is the current entering to op amp is zero this is also for ideal op amp in ideal op amp the input impedance of op amp is infinite thus no current can enter to the op amp through inverting terminal or non inverting terminal thus this i minus will be zero as well as i plus is also zero so no current can enter here just it can sense the voltage level and it will amplify now consider this figure so instead of current source now i started with the voltage source vi that is connected here and the similar circuit so this resistance is r1 this one is r2 this is r3 and this feedback resistance is r f now we'll try to prove that the output voltage is given by this this one minus rf plus r3 upon r1 plus r2 times gi now as i said that the op amp is having infinite impedance so there is no current entering through this terminal or this terminal so whatever current is supplied by the source if it is ii that has to come from this side and it will follow this path okay because no current is it, no branching is here no current branching is here okay so this is the current flow the same current is flowing ii through this circuit right and again you see the circuit is having negative feedback through this one this rf is connected from inverting from this output voltage to non sorry inverting terminal thus it is a negative feedback and because of negative feedback output is finite and in that case i have said that this v plus and v minus potential will be same so this minus v minus should be say same as v plus now this ii we can find out very easily because you see these two potential are same which means there is no potential gap between these two terminal so i can see they are sorted so this is one circuit 
So one resistance is R2, one resistance is R1, they are connected in series and the source is VI. So current should be voltage upon total resistance R1 plus R2 because this potential gap V minus and V plus is zero. Okay. So this current II is simply the VI upon R1 plus R2. So this you can also compute from this end to this end the current flow. This is your V plus. Then this potential is VI added and this is subtracted. Okay. So V plus plus VI minus V minus upon R1 plus R2. Now as it is V plus equal to V minus so you are getting this one. Right. Now this one V plus we can find out this current is II. So this terminal is 0. So this should be minus sin I times R3. Because 0 minus V plus upon R3 equal to II. Okay. This one. Now V naught similarly we can calculate. So you see this V naught is V minus minus this drop across the RF and the drop is RF times II thus V minus minus RF times II that is your V naught. Now we can replace this V minus as V plus because they are same and again we can replace the value of V plus by minus R3 times II like this okay then we can combine this II together so minus R3 plus RF times II now we can replace the value of II by VI upon R1 plus R2 then you will get this form desired form minus R3 plus RF upon R1 plus R2 times VI right now this is this problem I am giving you as a homework problem you can find out now easily the voltage output voltage V0 just uh, I am giving you one hints here this current source and resistance that you can convert it to voltage source and series resistance okay then again you can find out the current flowing through this circuit and you can find out the output voltage as we have discussed. I hope you can solve this problem and post your solution in the comment section and I will still reply to your answer. And if you enjoy this video, you can subscribe my channel and uh, you can subscribe this channel to because this is on free channel and you can go for free subscription just press the subscription button and then don't forget to press bell button then only you will get immediate notification of my future videos thanks for watching I hope you are going to uh, subscribe my channel I will be uploading lots of videos. Thank you.